Didn't ruin my day. What's next? What's up guys? Pardon my sweatiness. I did just get through running, but a lot of times when I'm running, a million thoughts just go through my head. Um, and I was thinking about this whole leak thing. And, and like at the end of the day, what does it even matter? So uh, if you don't know, somebody leaked out a video that shows the ending of Scream 6. I even did like a live stream on it this weekend. Um, and yeah, I think it's, it's, this is kind of strange because it's a month before release. Or I think by the time it was out, it was a month before release. That is extremely hard to avoid. Uh, I would say if you are um, a frequent internet user almost, and you're a horror fan, almost impossible, okay? I just noticed Dead Meat got spoiled the other day. He was fucking pissed, as he should be. I was, um, well, yesterday I was spoiled, okay? Let's get that out there, even though it's in the title. Somebody on Twitter, um, actually, actually oh, you know what, I'll back up. Uh, somebody in the comments on my five ways to avoid spoilers, I should have said six ways because I should have said avoid these comments. <laughs> so going forward, if you don't want to know what happens in this movie, and I'm not gonna spoil it, but I'm just saying, if you care about this, somebody might, one of these assholes might freaking do something in the comments, and I'll, after this, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna try to monitor it and, and block accordingly, but um, I gotta tell you that, guys, if you should probably avoid YouTube comments too, okay? But yeah, so, somebody, uh, I guess, said something, and I've heard there's a lot of fake rumors going around, and so I saw it, and immediately I was like, Fuck. <laughs> because what I read did seem, I mean, it could be fake, but it seemed like I bet that's real. So, I, you know what? I, it stung. It stung for just a second, and that was kind of a lesson, for me, anyway. Um, and I think it has to do with this franchise. This, I, I'm a casual Scream fan, okay? I'm not, uh, if it's Halloween, then, you know, then maybe it hurts a little bit more. But I have a point here that's on the positive that we're gonna get to, okay? Just stay with me here. So on Twitter yesterday, this idiot moron uh, posted the same thing four tweets in a row. I I'm going through my notifications, boom, 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 boom. All the, the exact same thing. He went out of his way to make sure that he spoiled this movie for me. And uh, I wanna talk to him right now because I guarantee he's watching. Fuck you, it doesn't, it doesn't bother me. I'm fine. It doesn't bother me whatsoever because I had a thought. And I know you're probably thinking he's making the video, it bothers him. It bothers me that you're hurting other people. For me, honestly, and I'm being dead serious, I don't care. It, it doesn't bother me whatsoever. I, I, maybe that's after the cat's out of the bag. And here's why, at least for me, it doesn't bother me. And I think it probably won't bother a lot of people. Um, Scream movies surprise us once. One time. We watch Scream movies, some people a hundred times, every single movie. And every single one of those people, if they've watched all five movies so far, then they've only been surprised five times. But what is it, what is it about that, that keeps them coming back, that keeps them watching it over and over and over and over again? They're good movies. To them, they're good movies, okay? And to a lot of people, they're good movies. And you, you're not gonna ruin anybody's day by spoiling anything you might, it's gonna hurt for a second, but if the movie's good, it's not gonna matter anyway. And they're gonna keep watching it no matter what. They'll have a story, like, yeah, you know, like 10 years ago when that, that Scream 6 came out, I was spoiled. Yeah, I knew the I knew the ending before I went into it, but still enjoyed it, or I didn't like it, you know, haven't seen it yet. That's gonna be the conversation. And there are countless examples outside of Scream of movies that had major, major spoilers that people just watch over and over and over again. Like, like say, High Tension, Sleepaway Camp, you know, and the list goes on and on and on and on. So, spoilers are fun. You know, big twists are fun. I mean, pick your M. Night Shyamalan movie. He's signs. I've seen signs a million times. They're fun, but it's not the end of the world. It, it, life goes on, and we still watch those movies over and over again. And now here's a message I have for you and you and you and however many of you dipshits are, are doing this, okay? No one's going to remember your name. No one's gonna know your name because you're a coward. You're anonymous. Because if you did reveal your name, what's that gonna do for you? 
make you make you make an honest asshole? I don't know. This is going to give you zero fame. You're never going to be remembered for the rest of eternity. You know, because again, you're a coward. You you hid behind something. So you think you like you know completely um, ruined somebody's life by dropping a, something as trivial as a spoiler for a movie, but you didn't. N nobody cares. At the end of the day, you know, it's it's it, nobody cares. Nobody cares whatsoever. And lastly, I'll leave you with this. Okay, it's easy to hurt people. It really is. It's 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 uh, it's easy to spoil things. Uh, it takes zero effort, you know? You just got lucky that you found out. And I don't know if you went and did some digging. Who, who knows? Yeah, it leaked out. And it, it's easy to, to put that out there, you know? It's hard to take responsibility. It's hard to um, um, get up and make something of yourself. It's hard to maybe go to college, get a degree. Uh, it's hard to build a, a community. Um, maybe get 50,000 subscribers, 100,000 subscribers, a million subscribers. That takes work. That takes a lot of work. You can't just do that, you know, in a flash. It, you have to really prepare yourself. You'll, know, you'll never do that. I, I guarantee it. And I hope you do, but you never will because this is something to just get you off. That's all it is. And at the end of the day, nobody's going to know you. Nobody's going to care. And people are still going to love Scream. And, and that's, all that, that's all that matters. Or they won't, but, you know. Anyway, that's my message to you. Fuck you. And uh, I got spoiled.